ပီဗီတီဗီကနေရာတိုင်းရေးဆိုင်အာစီဆင်ခေါင်းတွေကိုဒီစစ်တစ်ဆက်ပြီးနေရှိပါတယ်ပီဗီတီဗီကထုတ
ဒီကြောင့်ဒီတိုင်းမှာဆိုရင်ပြည်သူ့ကာကွယ်ရေးတက်ဖွဲ့ရေးအကောင်းနေပြီးတော့အကြမ်းဘက်ဆေးဝ
ဒါပြတိုက်ပွဲရှောင်ပြည်သူရဲလိုအချက်ကိုလည်းစက်လက်ထောက်ပံ့သွားဖို့ရှိတယ်လို့ဝန်ကြီးဌာနထန်ကတ
စကိုင်းတိုင်းဝလမြူနေတွင်ယနီစန်ရိုင်လာနစတ်ငါးရဲ့နံနက်စင်နိုင်စငါးမနေအချိန်ကုန်ကြီးကွေအနီတွင်စ
ဆက်ရင်းချက်လက်များအရာ Welcome to PVTV English Edition. In this program, the state of play in Yemen. We are going to deliver current affairs review by PVTV. So that our friends around the world who are craving for democracy and human rights get a better understanding of the actual footage of the situations in Myanmar. So please tune in to our program. Terrorist Military Council to be held accountable for their crimes against humanity. Myanmar people on the plane who did not believe that the terrorist military was committing genocide in the ethnic areas are now witnessing massacres by the military. During one year after the coup, the terrorist military carried out massacres of civilians in Zagai and Magui regions, as well as in Karani and Chin states. Even the world is shocked by the brutal massacre of the people in the military, regardless of the geographical area. Even under NLD government, which is said to be a democratic one, the terrorist military committed mass killings of the Rohingya in Rakhine state. Mao Wing Kain Then, the current union prime minister and speaker of the National Assembly at the time, said he had to believe the military leaders when they faked the evidences and claimed innocence. There were few records in the past crimes, but in the current spring revolution there are many strong evidences and there is no way that the terrorist military can deny their atrocities. Dr. Sasa, the NUG Union Minister of International Cooperation said, more than 400,000 of video and photo evidences have been video. collected. We have collected information of the crimes they have committed against 47,000 people, including all information of where and when the crimes were committed and who committed the crime. He added that more than 700 cases of violations of international laws by the terrorist military have been collected. These cases will be filed at the International Criminal Court ICC and International Court of Justice ICJ, as well as in Australia, Brazil and Germany. In July, the terrorist military massacred more than 40 people, including minors in Kani Township, Sagai region. On January 11 and 12, assisting dead bodies with their hands tied on their back were found near Yin village, Kani Township. In Gangor Township, Magui region, the terrorist military massacre 24 residents of Mwile and Yeshin villages on September 9th and 10th. Eight of the victims were killed after being captured. Among the victims, there were people in their 70s as well as three high school students. The military killed civilians upon suspicion, arrested them, tortured them, burned their houses and struck with heavy weapons without distinguishing them from the armed groups. These are crimes against humanity. On December 7th, in Selinji, Sagai region, the terrorist military troops killed 10 innocent civilians by burning them. A 14-year-old minor was included among the victims of the incident. 
Wu Aung Yomin, Union Minister of Human Rights, said, There are children among the deaths and among those who were displaced. Women are experiencing sexual violence. The military commits striking upon people regardless of women, children, people with disabilities, and elder people who are considered to be given special protection. There will be no greater crime against humanity than this. On December 24th in Karani State, more than 40 people were burnt to death by terrorist military. Four BGF soldiers who tried to stop them as they detained the local civilians were also killed. Between Kinlong Village and Lunglo Village, which are located on Matubi Hakka Road in Chin State, 11 civilians were used as human shield on January 6th and 7th, and they were brutally killed by the terrorist military on January 8th. A 13-year-old minor was included among the victims. Wu Aumyomin pointed out, there is another case of the military committing crimes against humanity. The national unity government has called on the people to report any incidents of arrest, torture or abduction by the terrorist military. If it is difficult to contact NUG, report can be done through the People's Defense Forces. Human rights activists remarked the military is deliberately killing people, not only organizations or groups, but also citizens on their own can file cases at ICJ and ICC. They will take action more quickly when complaints from the people, complaints from the Independent Investigative Mechanism from Nyema, IIMM, and complaints from the other organizations are all brought together. Dr. Sasa says, there will never stop taking actions to prosecute the terrorist military leaders who cruelly killed the people. We will never pause. We will never stop until the justice is done. The Minian military, which has been nurtured by successive Myanmar military dictators to perpetuate their grip on power, has consistently committed terrorism but has always escaped punishment. Military leaders who have committed crimes against humanity in the past has been enjoying the impunity and now it's time to stop granting the impunity. Duala Shila, acting president of the National Unity Government, made it clear in his 74th Independence Day speech saying, you cannot bring the blood-soaked war criminals to the dialogue table. You need to send them to both domestic and international criminals. <laughs>ပီဗီတီဗီကမေးကြော်လိုင်းရေးဆိုင်ရာအစီအစဉ်ကောင်းတွေကိုရင်းစစ်တဆက်ပြီးရေးရှိပါတယ်ပီဗီတီဗီက
ဆက်လက်ပြီးတော့အခမ်းအနားအစီအစဉ်ဟိုဒီအရာမြို့သားကျမရေးကော်မတီအနေ့ဆီဒုတိယအုပ်ကထနှင့်စရာခုဖလူ
ဒါကြမရေးကိုနန်းတွေကိုလိုအပ်တဲ့အဲ့ဒီတင်နန်းတွေဘီဘီဘီဘူးဆုံးတွေပေါ့เนาะတခြားလိုအပ်တဲ့
ဆက်တွေ့ရေးနောင်ဆန်းနေရိုက်ခါတွေအားလိုအခက်ခဲနေတာကြိုတွေ့နေရပါတယ်။နော်ကျွန်တော်ဟိုပြီးခဲ့တ
ပီဗီတီဗီကနေကြိုက်နိုင်စေရာအစီအစဉ်ကောင်းတွေကိုရေးစစ်တွေဆက်ပြီးနေရှိပါတယ်ပီဗီတီဗီကထုတ်လို